you want a little bit of history, if you want a lot of culture, if you want some romance, if you want stories about the power of community, I definitely, definitely recommend this series in particular. Hey everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. It's summertime, so many of us are on vacation on the beach and we're looking for a good beach read. So I have three really good recommendations all by the same author and it's actually a series, which if you're anything like me, a series is what you're gonna choose every single time. I have Sunny Hostin's summer series here and I enjoyed all three of these books. They were so good. So we have Summer on the Bluffs, Summer on Sag Harbor, and Summer on Highland Beach. And if you're familiar with any of these places, the theme that you're probably noticing are historically black beach communities. I initially actually picked up Summer on the Bluffs in Oak Bluffs because my family spends part of the summer there every summer. I literally read this book in like two days. It was so good. It was so fun to just lay out on the beach and read these books. So you probably know Sunny from The View. She's also a multi-platform journalist. I believe she's an attorney. I think she's great. And who knew that she was such an incredible author? I'm not gonna give any spoilers. I like to just kind of give book vibes. But basically these stories are about a woman named Ama who buys a home in Oak Bluffs with her husband and their three goddaughters, Olivia, Perry, and Billy. And they go to this house every single summer they grow up together, and Ama, who was one of the first black women on Wall Street, um, is incredibly wealthy and is kind of a titan in the finance world, kind of brings all of these girls under her wing and loves them, and she's really a grandmother slash mother figure to all of these girls. But throughout this series, there are so many family secrets that really threaten to rip these four women apart. Some are on Sag Harbor and some are on Highland Beach. Um, still in some way includes all of these women, but really we see Olivia's story in particular unfold in the last two books. The secrets come out, people are upset, people are hurt. Some of the elements that I love most about this book, um, we see the healing power of sisterhood. We see the power of motherhood and women in family units. We get some romance. We have like long lost loves that resurface. We see the power of restoration in some of these relationships. There's some elements of forbidden love here, which if that is a romance trope that you like, mwah. These are not romance novels, but there are definitely elements of romance in these books that are really powerful and so beautifully written. Sunny really beautifully illustrates and highlights the power of community infrastructure. What it can do for somebody when you know who your neighbors are, when you go to dinner with your neighbors, when you, you know, organize your community with your neighbors. I really think that that's a core element of each of these books because again, highlighting the fact that each of these stories takes place and historically black beach community you really see this community coming together in an effort to preserve culture to preserve the history and the legacy of these neighborhoods to fight back against gentrification and development in these neighborhoods and in some way these characters particularly olivia and in some way each of these characters particularly olivia are really fighting and working with the community and organizing in the community to preserve the beautiful history um, in each of these communities. So if you're wanting a, a good beach series that's gonna give you some romance, a little bit of spice, that's gonna talk about the power and the beauty of community that has a lot of historical elements, books that incorporate real social commentary that we're grappling with in our day-to-day -day lives. I definitely, definitely recommend this series in particular if you are looking for summer beach reads. I think that Sunny identified a really important gap in the market in terms of creating summer reads that feature black characters and real black communities. These stories are rich, they're fun, you will be pulled into these characters' lives. The thing that excites me about these series, and if you read all three, you'll see what I mean, is that there is so much opportunity for continued storytelling that will feel incredibly new and original, but that still features these core characters. It's really rare to me. Sometimes when I finish a series, I'm like, okay, it's, 
it's time for it to be done. But I don't feel that way about this. I'm like, I still have so many questions and I still want to know so much about some of the introduced characters across this series and I really hope that Sunny keeps writing. These books have become something that I've really come to look forward to. They've become a part of my summer routine and I hope that you enjoy them as much as I did. But I'm curious to hear from you all, what are some of your favorite beach reads? What are some recommendations that you have for me? But I'll be back and thank you so much again for coming to my channel and yeah.